I just think it's grown over time. Uh, we we kind of hit the reset button a couple years ago. Uh, felt like we needed to, to uh, restock that room and, and restock uh, the bodies and the development. And, uh, you know, Nick Easley's a guy that stepped in and really was a stopgap for us. Uh, unfortunately, Matt Vandenberg wasn't as healthy as we would have liked. Uh, so Nick had to do a lot of the heavy lifting for two years. We were very fortunate. You know, that was just dumb luck. Um, going back to your recruiting question, uh, we didn't really do a great job of recruiting him. We just kind of lucked into him. So he shows up and, and is able to kind of plug the holes for a little while while we develop some young guys and bring some young guys along. Uh, adds two guys last year to help on the interior, uh, more of that slotted position. And we're really understudies to Nick. Uh, both of them come along, done a really nice job. I know uh, Colt mentioned Tyrone and Nick. You know, Max Cooper's a guy that's continued to grow. Unfortunately, you know, he's still recovering from the ACL, but we'll get him back in the summer. So you have three bodies that uh, you think can do a nice job inside. You've got Brandon Smith on the outside. Uh, Amir Smith-Marsek can step out there. And then uh, whether it's Nico or, or Tyrone, you have some flex going from inside to outside. Uh, so that's a good thing. And, and all we're trying to do is get the ball to guys that can help us win. So I think the key now is, uh, you know, we looked a certain way last year because two of our better playmakers were tight ends. If we feel like you know our better playmakers are on the outside or at the running back position, you know two years ago we, we played in some sets with two running backs, uh, like true tailbacks when when James and Akram were on the team. Uh, so it's just a matter of getting our best players on the field, put them in positions to be successful.